excuse me. Hey everybody, I'm Lexa Bacon. I'm back and uh, feel like playing I want, as much as I want to play objects in space right now. I do want to try something different because the Steam sale is going on. There's all sorts of interesting stuff. And there's a game I picked up a long time ago that I wanted to try. So I'm using that as an excuse. The game is called VA11H, uh, excuse me, VA-11 Hall-A Valhalla. I don't know. It's Cyberpunk. It's called, what's it called? Cyberpunk Bartender Action. And they had me at Cyberpunk, really, but yeah. We're going to play this now. Hopefully, oh, let me uh, get the screens up. Too much stuff here. There we go. That should reduce the microphone decently. Or not. Straight up. Let's let's see what am I turning on here? Game. No window. Capture window capture. Properties. Oh, I got it. All right, done. It's not actually capturing. Yeah, you know, I should always do this before, but I never do. <laughs> I'm awful. Oh my god! I got a few minutes. Let's play. The year is all right. No, hold on. Let me let me skip. God, this looks beautiful. By the way, won't you play? Capture any full screen application. No, I'm looking at the window here. Music's really good. just will not do a window capture anymore. What the fudge? Fine, I'll make it full screen. Now I get to do this. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Take a minute. Get that signal going. Uh, we're, I actually want to play this. I want to play the intro from the beginning. Let's, let's see. Maybe it'll just do that. Thank you for... Why is it loud again? This game is best played getting comfortable. Grab some drinks, some snacks, and enjoy. So sit back some, and relax. We hope you have a good time. Okay, so hold on a second. No, 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 no. We're getting ahead of ourselves. We're getting ahead of ourselves. No, 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 no. That is not how we do it. Gotta play all the cutscenes. There it goes. It should kick in now. Glitch City, 2070X AD. A city that shouldn't exist. A tax haven where corporations and criminal empires reign supreme. In this place, all human life has been infected with nanomachines to keep them in check. Over them... Whoops. <laughs> I didn't get all that. Here, brutally, in all its forms, and in everyday reality, the quality of life for non-powerful diseases at an alarming rate. For many, this can be overwhelming. Some devote themselves to their jobs, their families, or even their studies. Some look for ways to escape this place, and others just give up. But for many of them, the answer lies at the bottom of the glass. Huh. Ramen is $99? Holy shit. On a small road just seconds away from the main street, somewhere near the slums, you can find the Hall A of the BTC certified bar called VA-11. But that's a mouthful, so we just call it Valhalla. A small oasis in the middle of the concrete desert. A fountain of spirits waiting for tired souls. 
in a game that doesn't respect its sound settings when I set them to be less than they are. And it's here where this story unfolds. Ooh, yeah. Why did you make it so loud? Yeah, we're lowering that because I'm, I'm. I think it does that scroll touch thing. So no, yet. All right, let's do this. Thanks for playing Valhalla. This game is best played getting comfortable. Grab some drinks, some snacks, and enjoy. So sit back and relax. We hope you have a good time. Oh, wow. I, okay. Hey, over here. Boo! How's that for an entrance? Jovi! Sorry. Come on, Joe. Look sharp. This game's starting and the player needs a good first impression of its main character. I know you served a bunch of tuxedo-clad corgis over the weekend, and the bar will eventually close. And I'll admit, my little prank on you might have gone a bit overboard. But remember, life is 90% how you take it. Stay focused and look at the brighter side of things. I have no idea what the brighter side is, but you should totally find it. In any case, you should totally check that parcel you just got. See ya. The game just... Oh, I thought the game crashed. Brrrp! Sorry. Oh, just a dream. Hmm? There's something near the door. A jump with the one. A primera. Yeah, that means spring in Italian. Does it? Primera. I think so. Your membership to Shining Fingered will automatically renew on the 17th. Make sure your account has at least $800 by then. Make sure to save your data using the Life Backup app. You can now browse the augmented eye. What does any of this mean? Uh, music? Welcome, Jill! For so who is that letter from? Nobody? Boss and what the hell? Oh, it's my phone, okay. Mass emigration continues as... Oh, I get to read about this stuff. Mass emigration continues as Quincy reveals new economic adjustments. By Kimberly Le Levelette. With inflation rates among the highest in the world, constant shortages of basic groceries, and rampant violent crime, glitch city citizens look for a better life in other countries. Quincy, however... Quincy, however, isn't happy with this. They learn in our schools at universities, the Prime Minister said during a talk with the augmented eye. But they apply what they learn somewhere else, and I find it rather insulting. This comes after revealing the new economic measures of the city, which most analysis consider to be useless for the current environment. They don't know shit, <laughs> concluded Quincy. That's funny. Wonderlanders are the newest threat. What is this? Wonderlanders are the newest threat to your security by Kimberly Lavalette. If you thought Alice Rabbit was good at cracking the most complicated security protocols in the world, then this new group will certainly blow your mind. They've yet to make an impact as big as Alice Rabbit, but they seem to be aiming very high with the recent threats against the Prime Minister Quincy. We hold full access to Quincy's email network and will release the whole database this January, the group declared during a stream. Shallow Threats one question, Prime Minister Quincy dismissed all of the group's threats by stating he's not hiding anything and is not afraid of a possible leak in his email history. Maybe everyone will get to see what kind of TV I bought last month. Can I s oh, so much better. Okay, there we go. Swan! And Denny, what's up? Welcome, guys. Ah, wild parties. The people behind the, the Wonderlanders seem to enjoy dressing in all kinds of rabbit costumes during this stream. Ew. 
From Anthro to Bunny Girl, the purpose was to show the love and respect they all have for Alice Rabbit and their role in today's politics. We want to follow the example while having some fun. We're not sure if this will go anywhere, but we'll be there to tell you if it does. What's up, guys? Morning! Oh god, it's like, what, 3 a.m.? Yes, this is exactly that the cybernetic bartender, or cyberpunk bartending game. So I have no idea what I'm doing. I literally just started. I had a dream, and now here's my PDA. PDA? Ooh, my cell. Uh, so I'm reading news reports. Cyborg and Heels returns next year to the Super Silver Thunderdome by Lana Smitty. The popular show Cyborg and Heels returns to the Dome this March, with tickets going on sale in January. Cyborg and Heels is a massive stage show about a cyborg fighting terrorism while wearing heels. Director Quentin Hader... <laughs> I see what you did there. <laughs> Explains Cyborg and Heels' special appeal during an exclusive interview with the Augmented Eye. What's not to love about it? It's a cyborg wearing heels, cutting stuff. That's literally something we've never seen before. A niche market I'm willing to capitalize on. Check out the full interview in the next few weeks, exclusively here at the Augmented Eye. No, I didn't check Discord yet. No. Uh... No, I did not. Should I check it right now? I don't have Discord up, let's see. I, I'm the kind of person that doesn't leave it running because honestly, those notifications bother me. So I, I, I run around, I use it. I'm sorry. I'm gonna check right now, hang on a second. What? What is that? Cool. What, uh, what made you... What's this thing? Oh, oh, okay, you weren't talking about the answer message, you were talking about this. Prototype weapon system controller for objects in space. Oh, that's a lot of wires. I'm gonna have to check this out more more in detail, but damn. Electronics is a messy thing. I'm just that's amazing that you got it to work though. Right, let me go back here. No, I do I do like it. I'll have to just check it out more in depth uh, later. Music. Please select the song. Oh, is this how I actually save the game? I guess it is. All right, can't add app. Okay, I can't actually add anything. Four, his, his acting is unnatural. Who the hell's four? I don't think he cares about the rules of nature anyways. Can I click on different things here? No. I'm talking to my cat, aren't I? No. Yo, Playbird and Retro! What's up? Welcome to the stream, everybody. I guess I'm just gonna go to work since I ain't got no money. Tuesday, December 13th. Good evening. Ah, oh, hey there, Jill. Oh, hey, John. When will you admit you have a John face skill? What the f- <laughs> What? Oh. Would you let people call you Jules? <laughs> Quiet. Are you okay? You look distracted. Where's boss? To know she went out to buy some stuff and did you hear what I just told you you said something yes that you look distracted very very distracted hey man it's been a while I hope you're all enjoying your Sunday evening slash Monday morning it's nothing I'm just thinking about stuff what stuff well, I have to pay rent by the 30th, which is always stressful, and... Ah. 
There's also the fact that I spent a full hour yesterday apparently talking to myself. What? Oh, busy is good, man. Busy is good. It's better than not busy. Uh, yeah, life is going. I'm also busy. This week is going to be um, tough. But uh, not, 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 not really in a bad way. It's just it's going to be stressful. So I'm trying to get in some gaming. That's not objects in space, which... Oh my god, Retro, man. You gotta check that game out. <clears throat> so I'm wondering now if I'm, I'm... I guess I'm Jill. You're just playing Prey? Nice. I know, I'm still on the fence about that. I know it's good, but I want to spend $15 on one game. Meanwhile, I just spent 6 bucks. I bought Gary's Mod, Jazz Punk, which is another cyberpunk adventure, and... Um, Oh, Poker Night 2. It was like a buck fifty. I couldn't say no, it was a buck twenty-five. I couldn't say no. Uh, not to mention the fact that two days ago I found out the bar is at risk of closing. Oh god. So not only is my life being shaken up, I'm apparently going crazy. On top of that, neutering four left me with a completely empty wallet, and I'll get evicted if I miss rent again. There's all the beer cans around my apartment and Jill. Sorry, did you say something? Can you really work today? Of course I can. Let's go through the basics then, shall we? Just in case. You got Galton Objects in Space? I let him use my copy. I think he's gonna buy it. Yeah. Well, he was excited until I told him, oh, there's no, um, there's no multiplayer. And he's like, oh, but I'm like, dude, it's like Silent Hunter, but set in space. They put, you know, Elite Dangerous and Silent Hunter in a blender. A blender. So, I'm so I, that is straight up his game. Oh, yeah, 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 definitely go check that out. I think you might get a kick out of a retro. Uh, just in case. If you can make a piano, man, I'll skip the rest. But bear with me for a second here, okay? Yeah, I don't know why I gave this guy a yuppie voice, but... Yeah, whatever. Walking through the tutorial. <laughs> I don't know. Is that tutorial harder than the one for ED? Because he had so much trouble with the Elite Dangerous. It was funny. He's like, yeah, I don't know where I am. Uh, dude, dude, what's going on? I tried to talk him through it. It was like, it was bad. Oh, your money back. Sorry, my like face is itchy. I'm, I'm almost reaching critical beard again. Let's start with the sugar rush. Look for the recipe using the navigation bar in the recipe book. That will show up on the top left, okay? And I completely forgot what he just said. Look up the recipe using the navigation bar. That will show up top left where? There's no top left. What are you talking about? You can also sort drinks by flavors like sweet or types like manly. Drag the desired amount of ingredients from their cells on the right to the shaker in the center. Okay. Jill. Oh, Gil. Gil. Whatever. When done, press the mix button and then press it again to stop mixing. I have no idea, but yeah, it's it's it has that like 80s uh, cyberpunk vibe for sure. Teaching Gold ED was a nightmare, <laughs> but he's really got the hang of docking autopilot. <laughs> oh, you unless you're talking uh, of uh, yeah yeah yeah, no, no, that's still funny. Click the serve button or the drink itself to serve it and that'll be all. Okay, do I get to do this now? Oh, but if the drink looks messed up, you'll need to press the reset button and try again. You can press reset at any time, even while the shaker is moving. Don't be afraid to use it. This is like the Red Strings Club when I had to like, you know, like carve individual parts. Weird. Kill, I'm the one that went through the formal BTC instruction. Then this should be no problem. <sighs> Gil wants either a sugar rush or a piano man. If I mess up the ingredients of the drink, I can press. Okay, so by name, by flavor, by type. Let's go by name. I'm gonna go for the piano man. Piano man is two aldehyde, three Bronson extract, five powder delta, five flanagride, and three. Oh, good lord. Okay, so aldehyde. Let's do one. How do I do this one? One, two. Oh shit! <laughs> I already fucked up. One, 
two, three Bronson extract. One, two, three. We got uh, five powder Delta. Let me know if the music's too loud, guys, because I already, I already lowered it. Yeah, I, I know you would like that. What's, uh, you should talk to Swa because Swa is actually in the process of making a physical uh, interface to that game. Like, if you look up videos on YouTube, the the, uh, the Aussie developers, they actually made, like, uh, um, using uh, Arduinos. Thank you. I remembered it now. Using Arduinos, they actually made, a, a like, a, a physical interface for the game. Complete with switches and buttons and, and a display readout of, like, you know, your... You know, with LEDs showing you status of your ship and everything. It's it's wild. Okay, five flame, blah, 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 blah. Three carmatine. Uh, carmatrine. This drink does not represent the opinions of the bar pianist union or its associates. All on the rocks. I need ice. And mix. Let's get mix. Plus 20%. Uh, who am I It's $320? Jesus. Where am I serving it? Did I screw up something? How do I serve it? Where is the man? Gil wants a sugar rush. Alright. Oh, did I miss the flanagrad? I missed the flanagrad. Reset. Yeah, no, it is cool. Like, Battlecruiser 3000 finally made properly decades on. Dude, I tried to find that game. I heard, I, I read up on the history of it, because I'm like, what the hell? Battlecruiser 3000 sounds cool, and it's that this guy that was like... What was the guy's name? Is Smart? He was uh, decrying um, some other developers. Like, the guy was very uh, loudmouth. And I think he had a point in some cases. Oh, he was the one bitching about Chris Roberts. That's right. Like, he was actually, he was slandering the crap out of him. Well, to be fair, you know, Star Citizen isn't out yet, so. Right, you know what? Let me go back. I wanna, I'm want i going to make a sugar rush. Where do I go? I don't even know how to go. You know what? Fuck it. One, two. I really hope there's a w better way of doing this going forward. And how much? Three. Ah, there we go. Plus 20% XP. So, serve it. There we go. Here, happy? You have Battle Cruiser upstairs with a million patches, and it's still bad. Alright, I'll stay away from that game then. Yeah. Yes, very. I stand corrected. Now, let's get working. Oh yeah, before I forget... Hmm? You can make any drink big by doubling the amount of ingredients. But if the recipe already has over 10 ingredients, the drink is already big. Oh, and if a recipe says it uses optional carmatrine, it means you can use none or fill it to the brim. Optional carmatrine doesn't count towards making a big drink, of course. Carmatrine is the alcoholic factor in a drink. It doesn't change the taste, but the amount still has an effect. If you add too much of it, the client will get drunk faster, so please be mindful of that. Are you done with the exposition? Now I am, yeah. Hey guys! Oh boy, eh? Who, who's that? I don't know, found her while I was out shopping? Why bring her here? Oh man, this is gonna be a nightmare trying to keep all these voices together. Oh, hang on, chat. It could have been an elite beater, easily, but it failed. Oh, and they say that the Flame Wars in the 90s forms were some of the earliest Flame Wars. Yeah, that's right. Then that guy kind of invented. All over one guy taking an elite clone so far was magical, then ruining the game 100 ways over a two year delay. That's funny. Ugh. Well, it was either leave her outside at the mercy of the society's finest, or bring her unconscious body in here. She's gonna make a ruckus when she wakes up, you know that. That's up for you to deal with. I'll be in my office. 
You can't just push that responsibility onto us. We have work to do, damn it. There are two of you. Believe in yourselves. <sighs> do you think Chief knocked her out? Nah, that's unlikely. She'd be crowing, ab crowing about her or taunting us if that were the case. And it's not like her to pick up on such a small girl. At least not unprovoked. Oh, pick on. Excuse me. Yeah, you're right. We'll just need to keep it quiet. She seems to be just sleeping soundly, not comatose. Yeah. Okay then, time to start the night. Yes, I'll start working while you go clean the bathroom. Um, come again? <laughs> while you spent the whole weekend and Monday doing God knows what, we've had some interesting clients come in. Dogs. Lots of them. You're joking. Gil, you've known me for how long now? Do I look like the kind of woman who would make a joke like that? Well... So, as punishment for leaving me to deal with all of that on my lonesome, you'll be in charge of cleaning the bathrooms. Have fun! Oh, shit. Objects look awesome thanks to the linking. I've never heard of it. It, it, it's been in, it just started early access last week. GOG.com was actually showcasing it. Darksaber... Is it 82? Darksaber. And I was like, oh, this looks cool. And I'm, I just, I just impulse bought it. I think it's still on sale for 18 bucks uh, US. It's like 10% off. So check it out. Just that? Fine. I see no problem. Where's the cleaning stuff? Here. You bought that from home, didn't you? That I did. Fine. With that out of the way, let's play some music on the new jukebox. This model needs to have all of its 12 slots filled with songs before it can start. I wonder what was the logic behind that decision. Okay. Alright, how about I just do 10 random. Add songs by clicking in titles on the left. You can remove them by right-clicking on their title. Swap two songs by clicking both. Let's just do boing, 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 boing. Random? No, I can't do random. Okay. Troubling news. Drive me wild. Every day is night. Welcome to Valhalla. Let's see. I'm just picking random stuff here. Oh, there's songs I don't have yet. Synth or Stitch. Snowfall. Can you see that I'm not really caring about this? Neon District. Boom. Ready. Time to mix drinks and change lives. Okay. Hey, you! Get me a beer! <laughs> oh, sure. Right on it. He wants a beer. He looks like quite the big guy, though. Bottle drinks. Every drink here is priced at $500. Bitter drinks? Beer, 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 manly drinks. There we go. I just want beer. I need beer. Where's the beer? Are you kidding me? B for beer. Oh, oh god, I have to mix the beer. Okay. Let's hurry up. Two Bronson. So he's a big guy, so I'm going to give him a double. Two... Four. Uh, one powder delta. Oh no, I have to. Hold on a second. Bubbly classic vintage all mix traditionally brewed beer has become a luxury, but this one's pretty close to a real deal. Oh, okay. I guess I have to do it this way then, and I can't give him a double. That is a big drink. Beer. Serve it. Here you go. Oh no, this isn't gonna cut it. Give me a big one. Um, sure. That beer wasn't enough, apparently. Are you fucking kidding me? Where's all that beer gone? I don't know. Alright, so if I want to double this up, right? And I can't believe beer has its own name here. So, two, 
One, two, three, four. One, two, one, two, three, four. Ah, here we go. We're going over an eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Mix that sucker. That's a big beer. How about this one? Ah, yes. Now that's one fit for a man like me. <laughs> You're lucky I was in a meeting close by. This hellhole could certainly use a presence like mine. Although, to be fair, work has taken me to worse hellholes, like New Jersey 3. New Jersey had not one, but two sequels. Awesome. <laughs> oh, uh, why does Jersey get pooped on so much? I really don't get it. I happen to like New Jersey. I lived in New Jersey. You can't take that guy seriously. Because he looks like J. Jonas Jameson without any hair. <laughs> what kind of work do you do, mister? Oh, his name is Donovan. You're talking to Donovan D. Dawson, chief editor and owner of the Augmented Eye. Oh, you're the asshole. Okay. Nothing gets published here without my blessing. Now, now I actually picked the perfect voice for this. There's nothing new in New Jersey. <laughs> I like it. Maybe because it's like where I live is very crowded and I mean there's places in New York that are also not, but still. I like there's something about Jersey I like. This day started with quite the interesting fellow, it seems. So you're the one to blame for the barrage of daily articles on Alice Rabbit then. Hey, people love those articles. They love reading about their urban legend. Can you blame them? The idea of some wild card hacker working for their own goals and nobody else's? That's the kind of corny shit that brings the clicks. For all kinds of people. And clicks bring money, and money brings nice stuff, like beer. Stuff like cars and houses and plastic surgery for the missus and her kids. <laughs> it's growing. It's growing into his nostrils. Yeah, they, I don't think he has a nose. I think that's just an indent. Well, I'm not complaining about the fact you write about the hacker, just that you write about them every single day. Some of it isn't even news, just speculations or copycats. Capitalism. <laughs> I can't read your newspaper daily feed without running into at least one article about Alice Rabbit. Well, first of all, I don't write about it, my interns do. <laughs> that's right, he doesn't have employees, employees have to get paid. Poor bastards think it'll help them full-time employees. Oh, help make them full-time employees. I'm just capitalizing on this topic while it's popular. There you go, capitalism. Well, in the actual, literal sense of the word. Second, if you're tired of one article about a supposed hacker, but not all the daily stories about murders and other horrors? Well, I always filter out that section. I don't want to start my day scared and bitter. I have enough pressure and problems as is. I don't need to add Glitch City's lo lovely citizens to the list. You're smarter than you look, kid. But if more people were like you, I'd go bankrupt from the lack of, lack of traffic. Still, maybe my job would be easier. How so? People get dissent, dis, dissent. People get bored of certain kind of news after seeing it repeatedly. When I started in this job, it only took the news of some elderly woman being killed to guarantee clicks. Now you need an elderly woman carrying a sick baby boy getting hit by a truck. That's not enough. They need a full sob story behind it. Oh, God. I'm sunburned and like itching like crazy. That's why I like those urban legends. They're easier to write about and you can make up any shit you want. Spam them while they're hot. And even people like you, people who avoid the murder stories, will see them. That brings money, and like I said, money's good. Huh, I guess he has a point. What about the opinion columns? Aren't those a good source of traffic too? Oh, I hate those brats. They just write about how they're better than everyone else. They might also write about how everyone likes, that likes a certain something should be sodomized. <laughs> what the fuck? Worst part about that is they know half of your clicks come from them, so they get all diva-like on my ass. I think you're being too harsh. What about... 
No, wait. I was thinking of another newspaper. Yeah, the columnists on your paper are annoy page are annoying. <laughs> See? It's just like most fandoms. True. That kid on the restaurant critique column. Um, shit, I forgot that brat's name. Restaurant? I believe that's... That kid couldn't care less about his name. Anyways, Column is the least visitor of the bunch. He gets less hits than the, the obituaries. However, he still insists that I keep paying for his adventures to outrageous restaurants. I wouldn't have any problem with that if he actually wrote about half the places he visits. How so? He rarely writes about the places the newspaper sends him to. I've even heard he tries to get free meals by proclaiming that he's a food critic. Uh-oh. Poor bastard only gets laughed at when he says that. I do remember some guy coming here asking for free drinks and saying he was a critic or whatever. Did he look like a fat child with a really small face? No. Wasn't this one then. <laughs> anyway, this all this talk made me thirsty. Try to give me a beer this time, please. Coming right up. Beer again. This man likes his beers. They come cheaper in bulk at the store, though. Well, that's not your problem, is it? Wait, there's this... There... <laughs> there's a drink called the Bad Touch. I don't... I kind of... I don't want to know. You know, I don't want to know. I don't want to know. Wow, this, this song has been going on forever. Uh, let's see. What do I need? Eight? Yeah. One... Can I just do this times eight? This is really annoying. Six, seven. Oh, there we go. Wait. There we are. Mix. Beer. Here. Ah, it's the big things that make life worthwhile. What about the big, what about big troubles? Did I stutter, kid? <laughs> You're hungry. They said at the very beginning of this game that it's good if you have, like, snacks and drinks. Because this is... It's like, um... I don't think it... I don't know how much gameplay there actually is besides mixing drinks every now and then. So tell me, you see many celebrities in this hellhole? Please stop referring to this place as a hellhole. If a place smells like soap and dog piss, I'm <laughs> within my constitutional rights to call it a hellhole. I'm doing my best here. Wait, how did I do his voice? I'm doing my best here. Thank you very much. Who was that? Nobody important. <laughs> Gillian, uh, Gillian? Gillian gets no love. Uh, ears. Hey, I heard that. Don't be offended by what I say, kid. I'm insulting the building, not you. You can think of it as a small hole in hell rather than a hellish hole, if you like. I like this guy the more he talks. <laughs> it's just funny. Charming. So, celebrities. Not really. At least, not that I know of. Why? Well, to begin with, you have a serious VIP as a client, but I, I don't see you losing your shit. You're not making me feel special, honey. And second, because I'm always up for co gossip regarding famous people... Especially the red carpet kind of famous. Those folks, people pretend to love, but actually want to see fall from grace. Oh, man. Wow, biting commentary from this, uh, from this game. Pretend to love? Fall from grace? Yeah, he's, he's funny. What do you think that gossip about famous people always sells? Truth. People pretend that they love celebs, but what they really want is to see their idols torn down to their level. They want to see them suffer, to get their comeuppance for daring to be so much more successful than them. Nah, I think gossip is just something everybody enjoys, but nobody wants to admit to enjoying. I don't enjoy... Yeah, I don't know. Do I enjoy gossip? I guess. Not really. Like, I don't like the gossip columns, but I'll... Yeah, you know. I guess everyone does to an extent. You thought wrong. But even if you were right, it wouldn't change the fact that people love that kind of stuff. They want to escape their lives by living somebody else's. Sadly, I fail to see the appeal in that whole thing. What do I care if this guy I saw in some random movie was wearing socks with sandals, or if they're dating God knows who? 
Granted, socks with sandals is practically a public indecency. Guilty. <laughs> but still. Oh, please. As a bartender, I bet you have a strong voyeuristic streak. Your kind always loves to hear that stuff. Just like hairdressers. This sounds hypocritical coming from you. I even if that's the case, I don't sensationalize what people do. I don't make it more than that person you know from TV acts like a human. Sensationalize is the key word here. Just the other day, I saw this committee judge bitching over what some girl was wearing to the store. No matter what you say, these people don't exist solely to entertain the public. But this problem exists because they're the ones constantly cultivating the idea that they're perfect and untouchable. Hmm. Is that them or is that, is that idol worship? Now we're getting all philosophical. Going to exotic locales, dressing in elegant ways, indulging in every luxury they can think of. All that just leaves the public craving for those little moments when they make a mistake and fall to their level. Can't say that's a lie, but uh, sometimes the crowd just wants to see that they're human. Sorry, music. Hey, that dude just played the nice guy is indeed a really nice guy. To be fair, the gossip articles don't help, sensationalizing everything. It feels like they're instigating a behavior that shouldn't even be acknowledged in the first place. Wow! You like your big words, eh, Brett? <laughs> well, two could play that game of... of... Hmm? Hmm. Hey, you're a bartender, right? No, I'm a lab rat, hell-bent on world congress. Conquest. Jay Brian, what are we gonna do tonight? Same thing we do every night, Pinky. Sarcasm wastes my time, my money, and your energy. Refrain from using it. Anyway, I just realized that a bartender like you must have heard quite a few stories in her career. Let's talk about changing topics. Maybe. Why? Wouldn't you like a column talking about those? I bet they would sell quite well. It would be like that priest who published conf confession confessionary stories and then got excommunicated and lynched. People usually tell me all this stuff because they know I'm just a simple bartender. A personal stranger of sorts. We could have you ghostwriting. Half our staff do that. They do? You don't really think Lee... <laughs> well, with a name like Smitty. You don't really think Lana Smitty is just one person, do you? Figures. Anyway. Eventually, the people from the stories would know it's them and blame me. Not only would that hurt us as a business, it would hurt me. I really like hearing... <clears throat> God. Losing it, excuse me. I really like hearing clients rant about their lives. Oh, and it wouldn't hurt the clients too, I guess? Oh, it would hurt the clients too, I guess. Well, if you ever retire, that offer is waiting for you. Yeah, like you'll remember me two weeks from now. Sure. You want another drink, Mr. Donovan? Mr. Donovan. Mr. Donovan. Did I say something wrong? Not at all. I just really like the sound of that. Mr. Donovan. Mr. Donovan. Is it really that special? At work, everyone calls me Mr. Dawson or, or Boss. Boss is just the title. It's too impersonal and cold. It is? I think that's more of a sign of respect. Boss, Chief, El Jefe. <laughs> Whatever. Mr. Dawson was my father and grandfather. It's too general. But Mr. Donovan, now that's more like it. I think I'm just, I just got an in with this guy. They're referring to me, to the man in front of them. Not to my family, not to my position as boss, to me. Do you want your employees to get personal with you, Mr. Donovan? Oh, gods, no. But I want them to fear me, me. Not because I'm their boss or the name appearing on their paychecks, but rather because I strike more mortal dread into them. Starting tomorrow, I'm gonna make everyone call me that. Oh yeah, you were asking me something. What was it? Drink another one? Do you? Ah, yes, yes. But I need to cut myself off. I just remember to have a night shift later. Give me something bitter and big, but not alcoholic. I need to wake myself up. Oh, shit. I can do that. 
Bitter, big, and with no alcohol at all. Let's see. Bitter drinks. Grizzly Temple, probably. One Karma Train. This is probably good. Uh, how do I go back? By flavor. Sunshine Cloud. Bitter girly stuff. He's not going to like that. Nope. I'm looking for something that says optional here. Burning. No. Alright. God help me, I'm going to get him a grizzly temple. <laughs> here we go. One, two, three... He said to double it. Four, five, six. And we need three. We need six of these. Whoa, no, 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 no. Oh, you could just click on it. One, two, three. How, how did I do that? Damn it. This is really annoying. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six again. Okay, let's not get this dude wrecked. And two karma tree. No rocks. Shit. What did I screw up here? The unbearable drink? Nah, I have to be nice to this guy. Did I forget ice? Reset. One, two... Oh, I need to blend it, though I don't have a blender. Uh, I'm stupid. Suplex? That's a lot of car. I'm trying to give him something that's not going to get him drunk. Sunshine Cloud? With optional. There we go. There we go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And let's give him a little bit here. Ah, oh, damn it. I'm supposed to blend that too. What am I supposed to do here? <sighs> this is reminding me of that paper's... Yes. <laughs> uh, you know, I'm, I, I could see that. I could see that, Clayver. Definitely. He said he wanted bitter, but I need something mixed. Okay, there we go. Three, four, four. How do... Do I have a blender? Huh. What am I supposed to give this guy? I'm gonna... He's gonna run out of this place in a, in a second. Oh, here we go. Bitter, manly, and strong. There we go. There we go. We got it now. So I'm going to do ten. Five Bronson extract. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Flanagride. So two. Two Flanagride. Optional. Aged and mixed. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then we need two of these. One, two. Aged. Next. Oh, there we go. Here you go. Paint me blue and call me Sue. You can actually do it. This'll help me stay up late tonight. Say, kid, does this bar have any investors? He didn't call it a hellhole. There was some bloke named Sven that wanted to give us money if we uh, stamped his face all over the place. But aside from that, no. These bars are pretty much like any fast food chain, so there are no local investors. Why? Uh, why? Just want to let you know how lucky you bastards are. Investors suck harder than my first wife's mouth. <laughs> oh my god. 
Those bastards think they're so important because they put their money in the company. Well, that's... I mean, you give me money so you can make more. Let me do my thing and I'll give you more your money. Yeah, wow. <laughs> Sorry, that just... This game... But no, they have to stick their noses and start changing the silliest of stuff. What good is it to be the boss if you still have to work for someone else? You still have to answer to unions, the government, and those kind of organizations, don't you? Said, said Panda. What's this? Serious love. <laughs> so, so I did not expect that. Yeah, but that's paperwork. To make somebody else do it and call it a day. These losers ask for meetings. They start talking about stuff they don't like, stuff they found offensive. And there's always that one guy or gal that says, Hey! Why don't you do what that other newspaper does? Recently, they told me that they needed more clicks. More clicks! I make sure to keep the stuff spicy while still keeping production quality up. But it's never enough for them. Well, you know what? They want more clicks? I'll give them more clicks. I'll show them what happens when they do what they want and don't reject ideas. They'll know who the hell Donovan D. Dawson is- Oh, shit. He left like Batman. Uh, should I be worried? Nah. At least he paid before storming off. I wonder what happened with Sven, though. We never heard from, from him again. Jill! Yes? What the hell happened in that bathroom? That kind of mess usually requires you to have thumbs. Crafty dogs, I tell you. You think their short legs would, would hinder them. The ceiling, the, the sinks, the toilets, the vents. Shh, you'll wake up Briar Rose over there. I'm cracking up too much of this. Cloak of invisibility and anger on. <laughs> I won't forget this. Yeah, yeah. Oh, a client. Welcome to Valhalla. What can I... Big gut punch. Oh, wait, no, I, I can't do that again. Big gut punch fast. All right, let's give him a big gut punch. He asked for the good stuff. We're gonna give it to him. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's do one, two, Flemigrad, and let's liquor this puppy up. Shall we max it? To the brim. It's the first drink, then that'll get him in the door. Let's see, aged and mixed. Here. Hmm, you can actually do it then. Hmm. This crack house is a bar. Alright, you have officially earned y um Ah, whatever. I already kinda did yuppie, but I'll do a different one. Hellhole, crack house. It smells like dog urine and soap. How the hell do you expect someone to feel comfortable in here? I'm surprised you decided to come to our little crack house at all, Mr. What the hell do you care? The payment registry says. Sorry for the question then, Mr. Ingram McDool. I No, I can't do it. Sorry about the smell. We're working on fixing it. There was an incident over the weekend. But it's Tuesday. Yeah, aren't most bars closed on Mondays? Please, let me know what I can do to make your experience more pleasant, regardless. If I pay you, will you come with me to a motel for a couple of- What the fuck?! No? No? Then I have no use for you beyond giving me drinks. Such pleasant clientele tonight. May I ask you why you decided to come to our bar, then? Somebody recommended me this place, and I have absolutely no idea why she likes it. She says she's a regular here and all. I'm starting to doubt her tastes. A regular? Can I ask who? Oh, Danny. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> nice. No. I'll concede one thing. Whoever picks the music at least has decent taste. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, Jill. Where'd you put the dish soap? Gills run out. Below the sink where it's always been. Right. 
Oh, a customer. Good evening, sir. Hope you enjoy your stay at Valhalla. So, any other feedback you want to provide the establishment so we can enhance your customer experience? No, nothing. That's an interesting change of heart. Can't afford to slander this place knowing she's here. You know my boss? I don't know her, but I know who she is. Dana Zane, the Red Comet. The woman who fended off mall rioters all by herself, knocking them out cold, one by one. Is he an android? I have no idea. He looks like something... <laughs> No. No. That's an achievement and a title I've never heard before. I know Boss did quite a few things before opening this bar, but that sounds... Would you happen to know how she got her mechanical arm? Oh, shit, she's a cyborg. You noticed his knack. Could be a tattoo. You think, it, you think it's a seam? I first thought bartender at a... Oh, at a rival bar. I have no idea. I'm like, just trying to keep up with this game. I heard a couple of stories, but they sound too fantastical to be true. You've had an interesting change of attitude. I saw that woman take out armed rioters with her bare hands. Once you see something like that, it's hard not to keep your mouth shut in front of them. Interesting. You can relax, though. I've only seen her deal with clients personally about two or three times. Could be, but it could be a tattoo, so it looks like he's an android. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going... I mean, I did not notice that, but I'm going to go with... Uh, I didn't even know androids exist in this game, so... I'll go with tat for now. Also, what would androids need with uh, alcohol? One involved Class 5 weaponry, the other one's a pickup artist, and the latest had an alpaca. A what? An alpaca? Not really an alpaca, but there's this woman that owns a textile company. She got really drunk, and she started screaming she was an alpaca. <laughs> she started spitting on everything afterwards. My boss had to show her the exit. <laughs> this game is making me crack up. I don't know why. Hey, Bender, that, that's true. Excellent, excellent point. I'd rather not remember that night, so let's leave it at that. Can I get you anything else? Give me a pile driver, please. Please? There's a word I haven't heard today. Coming right up. Do I give him a big one? <laughs> pile driver! All mixed, so we need the three bron- uh, We're gonna give him a big drink. Maybe I'll mellow this dude out with some alcohol. The androids don't even know they exist in the game. Ooh, nice. That's good. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three. Two, two <laughs> three, four, five, six. Eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All mixed. <clears throat> What I did wrong? Six, six, and eight. So what did I do wrong? Six. Six, six, eight. And, oh, did I have age checked off? Son of a bitch. Age mixed. Here. Hmm, it's fine, I guess. Hey, lady, have you ever faked an orgasm? <laughs> <The f> <laughs> you ever take it in the pooper? <laughs> the fuck? I'm sorry, I think I heard wrong. I asked if you ever faked an orgasm. That's a question I'm not going to answer. I'll take that as a yes. I was just thinking about how good a lie can be. I mean, even if the most sincere people lie once in a while, lies can buy you time. Lies can make you happy. Reality will come crashing through the door eventually. For that moment, the lie can give meaning to you. 
I say lies are like your porn stash. You know they exist, but you shouldn't acknowledge them. <laughs> Let's get Bill good job. Yeah, he, yeah, 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 no, no, he's, he's safely asleep right now. Out of earshot. This game throws some shockers, yeah, man. It's <laughs> shockers. <laughs> Wait, what is it? <laughs> Shocker. Anyway, we're gonna get banned just for that image. Does that mean you're really faked orgasms? Because you look like you've had a lot of experience. <laughs> Motherfucker. Wow. Still, that's quite a random thought to just suddenly have. Are you perhaps lying about something right now? Not really, I was just thinking about people making polite comments about this crack house. Of course you were. You see, really a sex droid. Yeah, you got a one-track mind there, buddy. Just a little bit. Ow. Hey, I'm gonna need another drink here. Already? Don't you think you're drinking a bit quickly? That's my problem, not yours. Give me a fringe weaver. Alright. The fuck is a fringe weaver? Yeah. Yeah, I am not giving him a big one, because I don't want to deal with a sloppy drunk either. Because he's turning into an angry drunk. One in nine, all aged and mixed. It's like drinking ethylic alcohol with a spoonful of sugar. Bubbly, classy, strong. Alright. Try not to drink it too fast. That's up to me. Hey lady, have you ever felt empty? Christ. This game actually would make me not want to be a bartender. Because <laughs> I'm getting red. Have you ever done it with two midgets? Fuck. Empty how? Like, hungry? No, I mean empty like there's a part of you missing. Can't say I particularly have. I just felt there's this part of myself that lacks something. An urge to get or do something that I just can't satisfy. Have you tried taking up a hobby? It might not solve your problems, but it might keep you busy enough to avoid thinking about it. His penis is missing. <laughs> Any suggestions? Well, collecting stuff, reading, bungee jumping, combat sports, exercising. Sounds a lot cheaper than the alternative. Which is? Bitches and alcohol. I tried sex tourism once. It was like a bloody Russian roulette of STDs, so I left for midway that left midway through. I once burned my Christmas bonus hiring three women for an orgy. Porn is more amusing and way cheaper. Huh. I've also hired a girl to act like my daughter for a day for three years in a row now. What the fuck is wrong with you? Nothing seems to do it. Uh sometimes I pound my penis with a mallet just to feel something. <laughs> I think that's I think that might actually be like slitting your wrist but he's going for the jugular holy shit I'm getting depressed have you tried rescuing a puppy you can't fuck puppies at least you sh should <clears throat> I'm drawing a blank then can't think of anything that might help wow <laughs> exactly Seriously. Wow, I had no idea this was going to go this far. Uh, hey, I didn't make the game. I had no idea there would be this this thing in it. Mm, no. <sighs> I wasn't expecting you to help me, or to believe me. Huh? Eh? I could have been lying through my teeth this whole time. People lie, lady. Anyway, I'm leaving now. This smell is killing me. Please come again. Don't count on it. Where's the part where I get to grab him by, you know, with both hands by the head and slam his head repeatedly into the friggin' t bar top? Good. Whew. Boss, I'm gonna take my break. Wow, two whole, two whole drinks. And she's taking her break. 
I mean, to, to be fair, I'd take a break after that guy. And I'd also probably take a shower. In a locked room. Well away from him. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Detachable penis. Sorry. Alright. 2069? What, I'm actually gonna play a game now? Ah, daybreak. <laughs> Sorry. Um, save? Home? It's now safe to keep playing. Is it? I don't feel safe. I, don't, I really don't. I really don't feel safe. Huh, at least I didn't get locked up this time. What? Alright, yeah. Can we, like, random? 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 Please select the song. Oh, I don't know. What did I not pick before? I have no freaking clue. Regarding base of the Titans, sure. No! Oh, fuck. Okay then, back in action. Good evening. Good eve. Um, would you mind taking your helmet off? Oh, sorry, it's so comfortable, I usually forget I have it on. Is this better? Yeah, thank you. Uh, I don't know if I can do it any other voices, so we're gonna take it easy. Well, hardy har. <laughs> I feel dirty. <laughs> I do. <clears throat> what can I get you, miss? Master Specialist Saipi Asagiri of the 765th Division Valkyrie, Valkyrie Corps at your service. Say, w wait, that's too long. Just call me Say. What can I get for you, Say? Maybe I'll go for a British accent. I'm probably going to botch this up horribly. Oh no, the Robocop feels. Let's see. I'm in the mood for a sweet drink, but not sweet as in cool. Although a cool drink would be nice too, um, but not cool as in great, and especially not as in big. More so since I have to get up early tomorrow and I can't afford a hangover. I'm sorry, did you get that? A sweet drink, preferably a cold one that's not too big, right? Yeah, that's it. I can do that, give me a second. Sweet and cold, baby. Let's see, bye, uh... Sweet drink. Sparkle Star? No. No. Sweet girly soft. I swear the music's gotten louder. No, it's not. It's not a British accent. It's I can't do it right now. It sounds like a normal American girl accent. Ah, Valley Hills, that's where I did with the, the girl. I'm off my game on that. I apologize. Brantini? For the fuck's sake, can I just... Can a woman? I need ice. Give me something with ice. Boom blast. Thank you! Blend it. Fuck me sideways. How do I switch to a blender? Thank God I can do that. How do I switch to a blender? Alright, fuck it. Sweet drink. That's cool. Sugar Rush. Here we go. Sugar Rush. No. Sweet Girly Happy. I've looked at all of these. <laughs> Where's the goddamn blender? I don't know where the freaking blender is. Like, do, do I have to earn the blender? I mean, there has to be a blender here somewhere. Go on, let me try putting this together anyway. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, one powder delta. 
One Flamma Greed and two Karma Tree, whatever. Now, where is the blending? Wow, there really is no option here to blend. What the fuck? But if I do it long enough... Apparently you blend by just freaking like, shaking the crap out of it. eBaying my collection day and night. Takes all night. What? what? Oh no, man. Why are you doing that? Well, okay, I know why you're doing that. Moving abroad, too. It's the time to go. Some will go into storage. The rest will just go. Wow. Yeah, what are you selling and where are you going, more importantly? Yeah, I, you know, we've all done that. We take our collections and we put them somewhere else, you know. Time, circumstance, things. Like, my, my thing was, I'm not going to need these, and I got rid of games too early. And then, you know, 15 years later, I'm like, shit. Oh, no. <laughs> Spain, don't move to Spain. Yeah, Spain's, Spain's having some trouble right now. <clears throat> Don't have any of that. But Retro, don't you, like, have the most amazing box art collection ever? Uh, that's, that makes me sad. I keep being the extra special stuff, but yep, new life be beckons in the off-world colonies. <laughs> Well, Retro, I wish you the best of luck in whatever inve endeavor you're pursuing there, man. Seriously. <clears throat> Here you are. Ah, yes. This is just what I needed. Thanks. We don't get many White Knights as clients. I can only remember one other, in fact. You said you're from the Valkyrie Corps, right? Poor. Sorry. Are you the guys who deal with riots and such? Riots? Oh, no, no, no. You're thinking the Blitzkrieg Corps... The ones with huge plated suits, right? Yeah, those. No, we're different people. I mean, obviously we're different people. But we don't deal with riots or anything. In fact, you could say we deal with their aftermath. How so? To rescue, heal, and protect. We are the angels who soothe the suffering enemy attack. We are the light of hope in the darkest of times. The ones who assist the victims of crime. We watch, we protect. Um, what was that? Sorry, it's uh, sort of our Pledge of Allegiance. We recite it every morning. What it means is that our duties mostly include rescuing civilians, healing the injured, and protecting them from stuff. What kind of stuff? Burglars, rapists, car crashes, anything that might happen on our watch. I know, I apologize, I know it's bad. I'm just, I need a distinct, I need to have distinct voices here. You mentioned heal. Are you a doctor, then? Nah. I know many doctors, but I'm not one. I'm more of a paramedic. I treat people so they can arrive safely at a, at a doctor. I'm also kind of like a firefighter in that I sometimes rescue people from places. Damn, this must be a tough job. Sort of, but it's also really rewarding. I mean, I've yet to meet somebody that isn't glad to see me when I arrive. Yeah, I... Fucking ruined it. You must have seen some shocking sights. Yeah, this one time I was saving some people from the top of a collapsing building. Whoops, what did I just do? Oh, I like this music. I looked down and was blown away by the pretty city the city was. It was like a starry sky on Earth. Oh, and there was this time we were cleaning up the aftermath of a car crash? Whatever was pouring out, water was pouring out of a hydrant. With the lights and scattered pieces of glass, it was all almost dreamlike. That's not what I meant by shocking sights. No? But those are sights, and they're shocking, right? Yeah, but n never mind. Wait, did I mishear you and you actually meant size? Size? I can't do this. I mean, sure. I've suffered the deepest, longest, and most frustrated sighs from people after everything's said and done, but... 
Don't worry, you didn't miss here. I guess I was just expecting a different kind of answer. I know, for, for those across the pond watching, I, I apologize. Apologize to the entire Great Britain. It's <laughs> shocking. What kind of answer? Don't worry too much about it. You finished your drink. Can I get you anything else? Hmm, something classy? A classy drink? Can you be more specific? Don't make it too big. Does that work? Sorry, I don't come to bars very often. My drinks usually come in a can. No problem. Don't worry. Classy drink, right? Let's see what I can find for you. Classy drink. Simple enough. And a chain in here. I'm getting good at this. Mix that shit. So click once for mix, click two for blend. And apparently I must have robotic arms cause, and you know, with wrists that like rotate so I can blend it. Love the description. Rantini, uh, eight out of 10 smug assholes would recommend it, but they're too busy being smug assholes. <laughs> Here you go, honey. Here you are. Yep, this looks like something Stella would drink. Who? She's my dearest friend. Not that I don't have others, but she's the one I've been known to the longest. She likes these kind of drinks, so I wanted to see what was special about them. And what do you think? I was expecting something stronger. I like it quite a bit. Say, Miss Bartender, what's your name? Hmm? You know my name, now I want to know yours. Oh sure, just call me Jill. Jill. Hmm. Jill. Stalker. No, oh, sorry. Jill is store for Jillian? No, that's not right. Jillian. J Julianne? Do not call me Julianne, please. <laughs> sorry about that. No, please excuse me. I didn't want to anger you. Um, but why don't you like being called by your full name? It's a stupid reason. Don't dwell too much on it. Oh, okay. I still feel bad about angering you, though. Why? Because you look like a nice girl, Jill, and I don't like angering nice people. Oh, where's that from? That's from somewhere. This is like a spoof of a quote. Uh, don't call me babes. <laughs> If it helps somehow, I really like this place. That actually helps. You're the first person to say something nice today. Thanks. You almost don't smell the dog piss. What do you like about it? The smell of... <laughs> the smell of dog urine and soap. <laughs> I can just imagine Jill's face like... Motherfucker. <laughs> and there it is. <laughs> My mom used to be a vet veterinarian, and I used to go to her clinic after school, so the smell takes me back. <laughs> I was waiting. <laughs> you just knew it was coming. It makes me feel comfy and nostalgic. <clears throat> what made you become a white knight instead of a veterinarian or anything else? Well, I was never a good student, so studying medicine of any kind was out of the question. That aside, it's mostly because of something that happened when I was a kid. A white knight attacked my friend and was coming for me when this other white knight saved us. I don't remember what happened next. I just woke up in the hospital with my friend watching over me. I mean, it wasn't a prophetic moment or anything like that, but ever since then I felt this was my calling. That I wanted to help people the same way they helped me. Huh. That's interesting, though. One would think being attacked by a white knight would make you run in the opposite direction. Yeah, but it was another one that saved me. So I kind of guide myself toward judging everything on an individual basis. That's the way to do it. Well, not to an extremist extent, but you get me. Yeah, I try to do the same, too. Why join the Valkyrie Corps specifically, though? Because I wanted to rescue people from dire situations whenever possible. 
and going into patrols and all that felt too tiresome. It's also the one with the least paperwork involved. Now that I think about it, there are different kinds of white knights, right? I guess white knight is too broad a term. There's not one specific type. There are many different classes. Rescue, assault. There's even a squad full of bureaucrats. <laughs> Bureaucrat squad. And <laughs> they all have their brandishing pens. Really? Yeah, they've got assigned to companies to handle the accounting and that sort of stuff. People usually ask for them because they speed up processes. But a few of those are assigned to a company. Oh, a few are assigned when a company is suspected of having weird under the table deals. Interesting. There was also a squad dedicated to fighting school bullying. They were doing a nice job, but the fad of anti bullying campaigns passed and they lost their funding. Damn. When did this game come out? Shit. Alright, don't know. That'd be nice, I think. Oh yeah, I missed that last part. Can I get you anything else? Oh, I don't know if I should. I can't afford that many drinks. Besides, I don't really know how much alcohol I can handle. Yeah, I can see that. Oh, you know what? I'll have something else. I remember some drink called a mar martini? Brantini. I just gave you one, lady. No, I'm pretty sure it's a martini. It's Brantini. Trust me, I get I'll get you one. She wants a... Um, <laughs> I just made one of these for her. Pretty sure I did. Yeah, six. I did this one. One, two, three, four, five, six. She's gonna be like, hey, you just gave me this. One, aged, and mixed. Oh. Serve it! Here, see? Huh, you were right. Thanks. You know what? I think I'll bring a friend of mine here in a couple of days. Really? Why? I like the feel of this place, and I want to share it with her. It might be a bit difficult, though. She's more into... Mm, classier places. Not, not that I think this place is nice, but, but... Don't worry, I know the kind of place I work in. I, I see. That shouldn't be too bad, I just need to... What was that? Sounded like an explosion. I'd better check that. I paid you already, right? Yeah, go ahead. Be here. Be careful. I will. Mm. Oh no. She left her helmet. Well, she's coming back. I'll just hold it for her. I'll go check what the ever-loving hell that explosion was. Careful. What? Oh, oh, she woke up. Where am I? Where am I? Good evening and welcome to Valhalla. That might not have been the best thing to say. Valhalla? A am I dead? D does that mean that Uncle Ingus' ramblings, ramblings about the afterlife look like a shoddy downtown bar are true? Called it. Afterlife? I'm not dead. As far as I can tell, no. To be fair, I don't know how death or the afterlife work exactly, but you're breathing, right? It's the future! Yeah, I, I, I thought that too. She's not coming back. She's going to be dead. Her head's going to be blown clean off. Huh? Alright, then where the hell am I? How did I get here? Who brought me here? What are you planning to do with me? Are you organ traffickers? Robbers? Rapists? Pickpockets? You're pickpockets, aren't you? Why aren't you saying anything? I'm waiting for you to wet your worries. Otherwise, you'll just... You're rapists, aren't you? Rapists! The whole lot of you! You want to tear my clothes, beat me unconscious, have your horrible way with me, and then brutally murder me, don't you? All while still violating every hole in my body as it... Okay, I can't read this. <laughs> I can't read this. <laughs> oh my god, game. Uh, I think she might want that. I, I mean, yeah, fetish girl, thank you. Murder, 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 
interrupt me. Well, this is going nowhere. Let's see if I can get a drink to calm her down. Or to throw at her face. Wow. Let's get it. Let's get a drink to, um... Classy drinks. Classic drinks. Every drink with perfume a la plume. What the hell is this? Every drink here is priced at $500, Dana. <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, girly drink? Let's go with a classy drink. Cobalt Velvet. It's like champagne served on a cup that had a bit of cola left. Bubbly, classy, burning. No, that's not what I need. Swa! What are you smoking? <laughs> no, not yet. Serve her a restraint order. Yeah, I would love to, love to do that. Cringe. Let's see. Sweet, girly, and soft. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Flanagrat. You know what? Let's look. Hold on a second. Let's look around. Sweet, girly, and soft. Yeah, I just did that, didn't I? Bubbly drinks, maybe? Frothy water. Nope. I don't want bland. No. Alright, Blue Fairy it is, because I can't think of a better one. And I don't know if I'm under some sort of time limit here. One Flanagride. Optional. Let's make it strong, shall we? Chill her the fuck out. Uh, age demixed. What is that? A drink. You're in a bar. Bar serves drink? Bars serve drinks? A bar? So I figured that I should give you something to help you calm down. Don't worry, it's on the house. To calm down? What did you spice it up with? Roofies? TTX? Pumpkins? <laughs> Hang on a second, I'll fix that. I'll allow that. <laughs> Surfer, I'm a street talker. Yeah, what are you smoking and where can I find some? God, no, I wouldn't even think of it. Your stuttering makes you suspicious, you know? If I ever added anything like that to your drink, they'd dock my pay in tips. Not to mention I'd have to pay any lawsuits myself. And that's the best case scenario. I could get fired or lose benefits or go to jail. And trust me, the BTC loves to catch anyone who commits that particular felony. They show themselves all proud for a hefty PR boost. And the thought of going through all that is just... Ugh. Even if you say that, let's do something. Let's do something. If you go outside and head just three businesses to the left, you'll find a convenience store. They sell drug tests for drinks. Tell the cashier that Dana Zane sent you. Hmm. Two flying cars crashed and went boom. That's why it was so noisy. Any damage? A hole in the street. Don't know about the drivers or anything. I see. Either way, I think I'm done here. Did you check inside the toilet paper's locker? What about it? Oh my god! Those fucking dogs! How? Why? How? I'm back. I tried to give... He tried to give me bandages at first, though. Did you have to pay? No. No problem, then. Try it on the drink. Says negative. There you go. But you could be in cahoots with the clerk in the store. He even knew your name. Good point, but first of all, it's not my name, it's my boss's. Second, we are pretty much a part of a chain. Sort of like the spicy chicken of bars. And finally, I'm not making you drink this. I offered it to you as a sign of peace. I mean, you are right. This is indeed a suspicious on my part. Sorry. You could just ignore the drink, go through the door, and forget this ever happened. 
That would be it. You're at peace and nothing of value would be lost. <laughs> Throw some toilet paper in her face. <laughs> Stick her head in the toilet paper locker. Oh god! The smell! Are you implying something won't have value because I ignored it? Are you saying my presence is so unimportant that my lack of action will yield me no difference? Eh? And what about the drink? Are you gonna let this fruit of your work go to waste so easily? Holy shit. No, I, I... Well, I'll let you know that I'm not that unimportant that your work does matter. Um, not sure you used to drink it all so fast. So, how was it? It was good, I guess. It'll help me calm down a bit, I think. Are you alright? Yeah, I guess you were telling the truth. Sorry about that. No problem. If I were you, I'd have probably have reacted the same way. I should apologize for my last comment, too. It came out as insensitive. I guess I'll stay for a while. I need to get my thoughts in order. Can you tell me how I got here? My boss found you unconscious and brought you in here for safekeeping. And you were asleep until that car crashed outside. Uh, I see. I guess it's better to wake up here than on the streets, stripped of clothes, dignity, and or organs. Next customer, please. I got a headache with this one. Seriously. Ready for my shift to end now? How did you fall unconscious? Were you tired? Sick? <clears throat> I guess I'm sick, but I'd rather not talk about it. Of course. I'll tell you what. Your drinks are on the house tonight. Why would you do that? Consider it an apology on behalf of everyone here for all the trouble we've caused you. What trouble? Bitch, be crazy! Also, something tells me you might need another drink right now. Yeah, you might be right. Okay then, I'll take you on your offer. I'll have a piano man. Will you be fine? Yeah, I just gulped the last one, so I want to enjoy this one. Come right up then. Bring us a song, ya piano man. Bring us a song tonight. One, two, three. That's a big drink. Hold on a second. Two. Shit. I did it wrong. One, two. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And three. Okay. One, two, three. On the rocks. Mix it. What did I do wrong? Two, three, five, five. Aged! Fucking ages. That's a bug. One, two. Shit! It's getting late here. On the rocks. Mix it. Oh, thank God. Speed running bartender. Not really. Tom Cruise is not. Fuck you! Alright, I'm, I'm kidding, laser. What is this now? Everyone in the whole wide world. Dude, you messed up. Uh, indeed. Here. Yeah, this is the one. My dad used to drink these before an actual pianist attempted to kill him. What did he do? Your dad, I mean. To provoke the pianist like that. Wrong place at the wrong time, I guess. He was relaxing in a bar when suddenly the pianist leapt off the stage and started punching him. Some say he was off his meds and that my dad looked like some music critic that had bashed him. I still hold my stance that he just got too excited. Jazz does that to you. I see. Piano Man has an interesting story. It was originally created by a bartender in honor of a pianist friend of his that had just died. Apparently, it mixes all the flavors said friend liked the most. Well, that's nice. So this is how it feels to go for a drink at the end of a long, hard day at work. 
I'm not sure if I like the fact that I'm falling into that. Where do you work, miss? Call me Kim. I don't know if I can say I work yet, though. I'm still just an intern. Oh no! We're about to see the other side. <laughs> Aged, not stirred. Yeah, um, how do you age something? So you just let it sit in the corner for like four hours? No, no, your drink's not ready yet. No, no, no. No, closing time. <laughs> Fuck. Can I ask where? Have you heard of a newspaper called... Yeah. <laughs> yes. Have you heard of a newspaper called The Augmented Eye? I read it every morning, in fact. Donovan G. D. D in fact, Donovan D. Dawson was here earlier. I knew I smelled this nasty cologne. That bastard leaves his reek wherever he goes. So, you believe me? I do. God, you have no idea how much I hate that chauvinistic horse blower. <laughs> Harsh words. Worst part is that I kind of admire the way he does stuff. Is this, is this the Trump allegory? <laughs> Just the random thought. We made a time sheet out of a... <laughs> out of a mix blender? Ah, <clears throat> uh, he's so forceful about things he wants that people have it done before they realize what's getting on. He even got a pizza delivery boy to work server maintenance. A full week passed before the pizza shop asked where the hell he was. And would you believe it? The guy became decent at server maintenance, despite having no previous experience. It's kind of admir admirable, but at the same time, I hate his guts. Oh. Knowing that I have to work for him, it's... Oh. Why are you working there, then? Did I ask something I shouldn't have? No. Don't fret about it. I'd rather not talk about it, though. Fair enough. What's your name, bartender? Call me Jill. Music change. Is it hard to be a bartender, Jill? I guess it's just as hard as being a cook somewhere. You keep going through the motions while trying to provide something of quality? All while answering the whimsy of people's orders? I think the hardest part is dealing with the chemical hazards some people might leave behind. Why? At one point I thought about being a bartender. But I was afraid they'd make me wear skimpy clothes and dance or something. Here we go again. <laughs> Well, it depends on where you start working, you know? I guess I was lucky Valhalla didn't end up being a tacky disco overseen by a DJ with an afro. My boss just wanted a comfy place, I think. Your boss sounds like an interesting person. What with wanting to put me somewhere safe and all that. She is. She's so cool and collected, but has no qualms about showing excitement about stuff. Sure, she's been a bit tense the last couple of days. But even then, when you're with her, everything just feels under control. She also has this mechanical arm. I have no... Wait, I'm mixing voices. I have no idea how she got it, but... Hmm. Huh. Sorry, I got carried away. It was fun to see you break the wise bartender character you're using here. I do that? It'd be nice to meet this boss of yours sometime and thank her. Shall I call her? She'd be glad to know you're okay. Oh no, I shouldn't pester her that way. And besides, it's getting late and I don't want to abuse your generosity. You can ask for another one, although I don't know how much alcohol you can handle. I think I can handle another drink. One Brantini, please. Fuck. Give it a Brantini. Uh, popular drink of the evening. One, two, three. Six. Three powder delta and a partridge in a pear tree. Aged, mixed. Brantini. Hardest part is freaky hysterical people coming in with shocking com right, comments. Oh god, what if they rape me and kill me? Or kill me and rape me? <laughs> I like this game though. I do like this game. I mean, it's not really much of a game, right? It's just you kind of do this and then listen to the crazy shit that comes out of people's mouths. I guess that's real bartending. Yep, this seems like the stuff. Cheers. <clears throat> uh, are you alright? Yeah, I just got a bit dizzy. 
and you're clearing your throat. I... <laughs> helps me focus a bit. Yeah, I'm better now. Hey, Jill, do you work with other women? I work for a woman, but my only co-worker is male. Why? You lucky bitch. Uh, I mean, you, you have no idea the heaven you're in. When I started my internship, every intern was female. If you ever try competing with women for a good spot, they're relentless. Have you tried making friends with any of them? Friends? Those cunts aren't for friendship. They're out for blood. Uh, sorry, I mean... <laughs> the other day, I got an assignment, and all I got from my efforts was an afternoon spent locked in the bathroom. This other time, when our supervisor praised me, I'm still looking for my briefcase. Uh, sometimes I just want to take all those bitches and throw them in the sewers or something. <laughs> He's probably lurking outside. That android dude is right up her fetish alley. Call back. He's going to show up. I'd buy that for a dollar. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Oh, fuck. I didn't even notice that until now. Mm. Let the lizardmen feast on their livers. I'm just so tired of having to deal with that. I'm tired of having to put up with them. I'm tired. Tired. Oh, God. She's going to fucking lose it. Mm. No sleeping here, please. Do you want me to call you a cab? Would you be so kind? Hey, it's Jill. Can you send us a cab? The client? Uh, just a second. Hey, Kim. I'm gonna need your full name. Kardashian. Oh, shit! I've read your stories, Kimberly Lavalette. Wow, what a flowery name. Kimberly Lavalette. No, I have no idea how to spell it. No, she's too sleepy to answer that. Okay, fine. Thanks a lot. They'll be here in... And she's gone. A minute. She's been through a lot today, I guess. This, di this dialogue is worth the price of admission, man. Hey, Jill. Bathroom's done. I'm leaving. Guide Miss uh, Lavalette to her cab on your way out, please. Oh, she woke up? And fell asleep again. Sure, anything for a client. Excuse me, miss. Please help me walk you to your cab. Let me help... What? Help me walk? What? Mm, pickpockets. Mm, rapist. And that's it. Are we done for the night? Seems like it. You had four customers. And you only got paid for three. Where's Gil and... Where's the girl that was here? Gil cleaned the bathroom and left because he stank. Kim woke up, had a couple of drinks, and left. So she's called Kim. How did she look to you? How was she? She was freaked out when she woke up, but she managed to calm down. Are you worried about her? Wouldn't you be? I don't know. Hey boss, do you feel like calling your boss is too impersonal? Mm, not, not really, no. It's not like you call me that because I'm a stranger. Just out of a habit. Oh. Anyway, you're free to go after you finish washing up the glasses. Let me transfer you today's payment. Maybe I'll give Gil a small bonus for dealing with the bathroom. Hey, I got money! I made no mistakes! This is papers, please. No mistakes. Drinks total. And then they take the cut, right? Flawless service. I got tips. I got today's payment. Payment plus tips plus the flawless service bonus. 30% commission. Hmm. What we're going to save here, and actually, guys, unfortunately, that is where I'm going to end it as soon as I save here. Remember, it will automatically renew. Make your serial account has at least 800. Jill is lost in thought about a hollow plant. Buying it will prevent her from getting too distracted. You can now browse Danger U. You can now visit JC Elton's. Click to dismiss this message. Yeah, I, I gotta save. Unfortunately, I want to. I want to keep going, but I gotta get up early tomorrow. Even that it's screwed up. Instead of girls, he's got his arms around animals. What the fuck? Oh shit! I didn't even see that. 
Uh, well, let's find. We got a, We got a crowd here, or somewhat of a crowd. Let's find some people. Well, I saved, right? Good. So we're gonna exit out the game. I don't know how to. How do I exit out? Oh, there we go. Let's find someone to host here. Wow, oh, Whip's online. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll pass it off to Whip. I don't I have no idea what he's playing tonight, but. Let's just close out of here, and we are gonna... Did we do another raid? Let's do another raid for Whip. Because his his raid thing is hysterical. So, let's do it. Um, let me see if I can actually do this correctly now. He's playing Prey? Nice! I actually want to see a little bit of that, so here. That's good. All right, let's do it. Let's do the raid. Raid. Whip. Lash. And just hang out here. You will be transferred over, and we're just going to let it ride. See you in a bit. Oh, I didn't do it right. Fuck. <laughs> Shut up. I don't know what I'm doing. Have a good night, everybody. Thanks for hanging out. It was a blast. It was really funny. And thanks for thanks for uh, laughing along with me. So let's see, six raiders. Good night, everybody, and just yeah, give a say a bacon raid to uh, Mr. Whiplash. Uh, when is it going? I don't know when it's going. All right, it's going. There's no countdown. Why is there no count? There we go.